Just when we least expected it to happen, Nintendo uploaded a brand new video with news regarding the sequel to The Lane of Zelda Breath of the Wild, announcing that while this game was slated to be released this year, they've decided to delay it to spring of 2023. Although this may be upsetting, in truth it is good news, as Nintendo will be able to polish the game to the maximum capacity, giving us the best product they possibly can. In the words of Miyamoto, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. However, within this small announcement video, we've received new footage from the game, which gives us a huge hint on what the story will be about. We are shown a brand new shot of Link on top of a circular stone pedestal, with markings on the ground of the same script we saw on the pedestal that Link laid down on in the previous trailer, perhaps this being Sonic's script, replacing the Sheikah script from the former game. We see that Link is wearing the same green tunic from the last trailer, which seems to be this game's main tunic, like how the first game's tunic was the blue champion's tunic, and on his back, we see that Link is carrying three distinct items. First, we see the same shield from the previous trailer, the one that had that mysterious eye symbol. We then see a new bow, with stylized golden edges akin to the decoration on the green hand, as well as the architecture seen in the Sky Islands. We can see that the bow has dark markings near its edge, that mirror those on Link's body caused by the green hand indicating that the bow belonged to the people from which the hand came from, which at this point certainly is the Sonai tribe. But most importantly, we see the Master Sword glowing in ethereal blue light, and as Link unsheaths the blade of Evil's Bane, we see the horrid state it is in, shattered, rusted and decayed, in a far worse state than the rusted Master Sword we saw in the first Breath of the Wild. The damage inflicted in that game also having been caused by malice, the difference being that in this game, Ganon launches a full-on attack on a blade with tendrils of malice, leaving it in that state of disrepair. As Link turns towards the camera, we see a closer look at his corrupted hand, which has a glowing yellow symbol on it. This is perhaps a symbol of one of the many abilities that Link may obtain in the game, those replacing the Sheikah runes and judging by its yellow color, it might be the time reversing power from the second trailer. If we look in front of Link, we see a bright orb of golden light at the center of the platform, which we can barely see is on one of the floating islands, and as the hero of the wild unsheaths his rotten blade and brings it closer to the glowing orb of energy, his hand begins to shine brighter and brighter, reacting to its ethereal light. I have no doubt in my mind that this orb of glowing energy is Force, a divine power that is ever present in the series. This sacred power, also known as a golden light, resides in every living being, and it is the power that flows within the Master Sword, the Force Sword, the Locomo Sword and the Phantom Sword, as well as the Light Arrows being the source of power which gives these sacred weapons the ability to repel evil. With the state of the Master Sword, and considering the way that Link holds the Master Sword towards this orb, it is quite clear that Link will gather these orbs, in order to repair the Master Sword. The area where the Light Orb is located, and the way the shot is composed, makes me believe this takes place right after one of the game's boss fights with this orb of light being the remains of the boss upon its defeat, which we will then absorb into the Master Sword, repairing it little by little until it returns to its full power. This instantly brings to mind the DS title Phantom Hourglass, where, after each boss is defeated, they turn into Sand of Hours, a form of force in powdered form, stolen from the Ocean King which we then absorb into the titular Phantom Hourglass, and later, when the Phantom Hourglass is turned into the handle of the Phantom Sword, the blade itself absorbs the sacred sand. Breaking the Master Sword at the start of the game is a genius move by Nintendo, as it removes the most powerful weapon from Link's arsenal right from the get-go, a brilliant way to reset the game back to zero and allow for a steady progression instead of starting the game at full power. 
Also, think about this. The Master Sword is the Blade of Evil's Bane, a sword that repels evil. Even standing close to it can vanquish a curse, as seen in Twilight Princess with the wolf turned hero of Twilight. Ganon has become so powerful that he overpowered the power to repel evil, and destroyed the blade itself, removing the only tool that can vanquish him out of the equation entirely, while also damaging the hero's arm in the process. It really seems Nintendo is going all out with this game, and I can't even begin to describe how excited I am to see what this game has to offer on Spring of 2023. What about you? Are you excited for this game? What do you think of this new footage and the game's delay? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this short video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. I have a huge video in the works, so make sure to stay tuned for whenever that video releases. This has been Sololo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.